Besides hoarding all these graphics cards, I love to overclock them too. And when it comes to applying an overclock to a graphics card, either it's stable and it works, or it is unstable and the program you're running crashes. At least, that's the way it is most of the time. With this GTX 760 in particular, sometimes, like that one uncle that I only see at Thanksgiving, it goes back and forth between stable and unstable, seemingly at random. But focusing back on graphics cards, there's also something kind of in between stable and unstable. This happens when you're overclocking your memory and you get artifacting. So today we're going to talk a little bit more in detail and show you some examples of what artifacting might look like. When you push your voltage too low or your core clock too high, basically what happens is your computer will either go to a black screen and restart, you'll get the blue screen of death, or if you're lucky, the program just crashes. But when it comes to memory, however, there's a little bit of a gray zone in the middle, where it won't crash the app or restart your computer, but the data is not correct. So for an example, if you were to be Bitcoin mining or running some other compute application on your card, basically the answers you're getting to these math problems aren't the right answer, is basically what it comes down to. And then you have, when it comes to gaming, it will look a little something like this. As you can definitely see, this is not what it is supposed to look like but this is just a result of the memory not being able to keep up with what it's being told to read and write. Now, if you leave this running long enough, it will eventually get unstable enough to the point where the app will crash eventually. But as you can see here, it's technically running the app just fine, but it's really not what you want it to be doing. So it's a fail in the sense that it's not doing what it's supposed to, but it's technically succeeding in that the app hasn't crashed, it's still running. So that is basically what GPU artifacting is. It looks a lot like this, sometimes it'll look also like this, but basically you're getting these pops and flashes that aren't supposed to be there. So make sure to leave a comment below if you found this video super useful. How often have you seen GPU artifacting? What graphics card are you using, and at what clock speed on your memory do you see artifacting? Or you could just write some hurtful comment down below like everyone else does. Oh, go ahead and subscribe too. Um, I'm going to go read some more troll comments, because I have some self-esteem left over that I need to get rid of.